Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm the Flying Grayson. Now, I just wanted to invite you to a brand new series I'm going to be doing on the channel. Now, if you've been watching my cosplay videos, you kind of know what I'm about to say. Or do you? No, you do. Yeah, see, I've been working on my cosplays and it's turned out really cool for my Nightwing, but there's so many ideas that go off in my head that I can't possibly do because I would go broke. And also, who needs that many cosplays currently? So. What I'm going to be doing is each week I'm going to be posting a theoretical cosplay video to let you guys know what I would do for a certain character. So each week I'll have a different character and I'll scour the internet over different parts and pieces and things I would make to really make that costume my own. And you're more than welcome to use those ideas or not. But also, you can also give me ideas about what character you would like me to do in the future. Now, to start off with, I'm probably going to stick to characters I know really well, like Nightwing himself. So, without further ado, here's the very first episode. Hope you enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, this week's hypothetical cosplay is... Porky Pig. It's not Porky Pig, it's the guy standing next to Porky Pig. The guy in the costume, I mean, you saw the title of the video, come on, you knew who it was. It's Grayson. For those of you who don't know who Grayson is, this is Dick Grayson. He was the original Robin, Batman's sidekick. He grew up to be his own hero in Nightwing, and without spoiling any big major storylines, he is now currently an undercover spy in a super secret organization called Spiral. Now. Let's dissect his costume really quickly. When you first look at it, it doesn't scream superhero, which is a good thing because he's a spy. It shouldn't scream superhero. So it looks functional, if not, you know, a little basic. But as we get on through this video, I will let you in on a secret on how to really make this costume pop and make it your own and make it stand out amongst all the others. So let's get started. Alright, let's knock off some of the more easy parts right off the bat. Part 1, the pants. Just do a Google search of men's cargo pants. I believe I found these on eBay, and they're for motorcycle riding, and they have a nice material that work well for the costume. Part 2, the shoes. Just search men's striped shoes. Eventually you'll find a pair just like these that all you have to do is really paint them, and they're done. Third, the gun holster. You can find one of these probably at any military surplus store, or if not, online. Again, I found these on eBay, and it looks like it would work perfectly. And if you're lucky, you can find a nice belt that goes with it that will really tie it all together. Another simple thing is the gloves. Now, when I look for gloves for cosplays, most of the time I look for motocross gloves that are armored because they have that nice look and feel to them. But for something like this, while you can go with that, you could also go with something like a sports glove, like a football glove, something like this. This, all you have to do is really just paint it or kind of manipulate it just slightly and you could get that black and blue striped look that Grayson has going on. Alrighty, the next piece is the chest piece or holster going across the chest. Now, you have to be careful when searching for something like this, because I'm not good at searching online, I found this. Those are not the types of straps I was looking for. So I had to continue searching and then I found something like this. This is a nice gun holster for the chest. Now if you manipulate it somewhat, you can really make it look like Grayson's chest piece. But if you don't want to work with something and manipulate it, you can just go the simple route and just get straps like these. Then you could just create it all you want from scratch. And it seems pretty cost efficient. Alright, this part was a bit challenging because I'm a little bit picky when it comes to cosplaying superheroes. At times I feel like I want to have a more real world armored look instead of just the spandex look. But I do see the appeal of having a cosplay that looks like it was ripped straight from the comics. So, 
When I first started looking, I was looking at something like this. Now I find motocross armor to be the best for when you want that armored look. It's flexible and wearable while still giving that nice look. But this looks a little bulky. So here's another version of it where it's a little bit more slimmed down and if you painted it up right, it could look nice and it could give you that armored look. But if you don't want to look too armored and too bulky, you can also go with some motocross shirts like this, which are more spandexy and less armored, but it still looks like it would look very nice for the cosplay. And this one here, you could just see being painted just like Grayson's color scheme there, and it could really look good. The only problem is the abs don't come with it. You actually have to work out, guys. Yep. And if you don't want to manipulate or create your own thing, it's rare, but you can find some stuff already made, like this here. I found this on Etsy, and it looks really nice, and I'm tempted to get it just for everyday use, because why not? But it's $125, which I can understand someone put a lot of hard work into that, but that might be a little pricey for something that you really didn't have a hand in. I like the personal touch of the cosplays the most. Finally, the piece that's gonna make you stand out above all the rest, my secret ingredient. Now, all of the agents of Spiral have the hypno implants inside their eyes, so when someone sees them and sees their face, when they try to think back about what they look like, they see this. That's right, that's Agent Grayson right there. Someone's trying to remember what he looks like and they can't remember, it's all a swirl. Here's the director of Spiral, and here's another agent of Spiral. They've all got it, and it's a neat little thing that if you could pull off, it will really add to the costume. So, how would I do it? I have a couple different ways, like this. Yeah, it looks a bit goofy, it's the full body stocking, but don't picture it green, picture it flesh color. Now what I would do, I would cut out the face part and spirit glue it to my face so you still have the hairline and everything all looking natural. Then you could just get some airbrush done to make it look spirally like this, but again, flesh tone. Now, if you don't want to go that route, there are things already out there like this. This is something someone wore to Elton John's house. I guess they were trying to hide their identity, but look at it. It looks like something straight out of the comic. And it doesn't have the swirl, but you could easily add that. And in this picture, you can see up close, they actually have pinholes in the eye socket so you can actually see through it. While I wouldn't recommend that for big comic cons or big parties, because I don't know what the uh, visibility is, that's something to think about. And here's another look at it just as a whole from behind. It's a little creepy, but it's a good way to go. And if you don't want to spend a ton of money, you could always go this route. Silly putty. I mean, look at it. You get enough of it like this guy, you just throw it on your face like this. Oh my god, it's hideous. It's a monster. Oh my god. Okay, don't do silly putty. Oh my god, it looks bad. Well, probably You'll probably sweat it off. Some bigger cosplayer will probably smash your face into a newspaper to just... No, it's just no. It was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Just do the other things. Well, that's it guys. Other than little accessories, which I'll probably do in other videos with other characters, what do you think? Did I do a job well done? Or did I completely fail at the cosplay game? Let me know in the comments down below guys. And also, if you have any suggestions on a character you would like me to think about what I would do to cosplay for them, let me know down below. I would love that. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, have a great night.